Hello, I'm back and you can see I've got my thinking cap on because I've been doing some thinking. I've been thinking about this eclipse coming up and why the shadow is only 70 to 80 miles across when the moon is something like 2100, mi uh, 2100 miles across. So uh, usually in a shadow situation, the shadow is the same size or larger than the object that's casting it. So why are we only getting a 70 to 80 mile diameter uh, spot moving across the earth? Um, so I set up a little experiment where I've got a ball on the string. I've got a single source studio light shining at a white background. And as I move the ball close to the background, yeah, it looks like it holds true. The, the uh, shadow is the same size as the object that's casting it. But interesting thing happens when I move it out and try to keep it in the middle of the light, the uh, shadow starts to disperse around the edges and um, it is larger, but it's also very faint with uh, a, a dark spot in the middle. So it is possible Let's see if I can move that in and out for you. There we go. See, that it's got that small dark spot right in the middle. So I guess you could argue that that's the same effect that's happening uh, with the eclipse and why it is only 70 to 80 miles across uh, in the total eclipse path. So there it is. It is possible to have a what looks like a shadow that is actually smaller than the object that is casting the shadow. So that's it. The next question I've got to solve, though, is why is it moving from west to east? Hmm. I'll work on that one. Bye-bye for now.